Welcome back to ASCODE and thank you so much for joining. Today I'm going to be going over the better way to Terraform apply. Now as Terraform beginners, when you're learning, you're taught a very strict workflow. You just go Terraform init to get everything started, Terraform plan to see your plan, hit apply, type in yes, and then maybe destroy if, you know, whatever you're doing is not that important. Well, that's pretty good um, just to get the concepts down. But once you actually start doing Terraform in a real environment, you're typically not going to run it this way. One, because typically a human isn't the one who's triggering the Terraform. It's usually a CI CD pipeline or another automated process like that. So back to the subject, what is the actual better way to Terraform apply? Or what is so wrong about running Terraform apply by itself? Well, let's dive into this. Um, I have a main.tf file here. Today I'm using Vulture as a cloud provider. It's uh, quick and cheap and not everything has to be on AWS. But all you need to know is that we're deploying a very basic application to illustrate this concept. It's gonna be one instance. Think of this as equivalent to your EC2. And uh, yeah, let's get started. So the workflow that you might be used to is running Terraform plan, making sure that everything looks good. Check, 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 looks good. And then once you're happy, hitting Terraform apply. Let's just go with that case right now. Let's, let's create our instance. Um, we already viewed the Terraform plan, so there's no need to revisit the Terraform plan that comes with the apply, right? We just type in yes and get going. Give that a minute to spin up. And while we wait for it to spin up, let's ask ourselves, what is the worst thing that could have happened? What was so wrong about what I just did that warrants a whole video on the subject of Terraform apply? Well, let's, uh, let's illustrate by example. So the Terraform apply has finished running. We now have an instance, uh, running in the web. But let's say that we want to make some changes to our instance. Let's say, for example, we don't like our tag as code. We want to edit that and actually add another one. Uh, we'll go with imagine. Terraform plan, same deal here. OK, looks like it's all good. Uh, we're going to add the imagine tag. And then uh, we just apply, right? Well, let's say you're in an environment where there are multiple people working on the code. They're going around the UI, they're making changes here and there, or maybe you have an organizational policy that is adding things like tags to your resources. So in the meantime that you actually did your plan and added your imagine tag to your instance, um, you naively just type apply and you don't review the plan because you already reviewed the uh, you know, the previous plan, you don't review the plan in the apply, and you fail to notice that there was a change. Um, in our example, I on the side added a do not delete tag. And if we were to apply right now, we would, of course, overwrite the tag. So I'm going to cancel out of that apply and actually show you the right way. So if you're an astute viewer of code, and you read all of the extra messages that come with your Terraform plan, you might have noticed that there's this message at the bottom right here that says, you didn't use a dash out option, so Terraform can't guarantee to take exactly these actions. We always wanna know exactly which actions are gonna be applied, and we don't want any discrepancies between our plan stage and our apply stage. So let's take Terraform suggestion and create an out file. I like to use the word TF plan because I think it's descriptive enough. If you've got multiple environments, go ahead and, you know, prefix it with a dev.tf plan, name it whatever you want, and feel free to add the um, whatever pattern you use to um, your git ignore or whatever ignore you have for your source control, uh, just to avoid making things messy. In our case, I will stick with the word tf plan as our file name. And you'll see that things are pretty much the same. You get to see what exactly is going to happen. And uh, it instead gives us this new message to perform exactly these actions, run the following command, terraform apply tf plan. Pretty straightforward. It'll show you the changes. And in our case, we'll go ahead and add the do not delete. So let's go ahead and edit our main.tf to include that new tag that was uh, graciously added to our instance via click ops uh, and run our tf plan again. Terraform plan. It looks like we got what we want. We got the do not delete tag, our original tag, and finally the tag that we're adding. You'll notice also that the message uh, that was spit out by Terraform plan is not the same. It's not asking us to use a dash out option anymore. Instead, it's just saying run Terraform apply TF plan, which is pretty straightforward. So um, why don't I just do that? It should be pretty quick because we're just modifying a tag. And just like that, we also guaranteed that our plan actions were going to be the same as our apply actions. So this is useful in pretty much every circumstance. I recommend this if you are doing 
uh, Terraform manually like I am right now in the command line. Also in CICD, Terraform plan files tend to be important because if you have any automated security scanners, a lot of them can actually use the Terraform plan file to make sure you're not making any unsafe changes to your infrastructure. So if you're running Terraform and CI/CD, make sure to save your Terraform plan file as an artifact and then passing it to the next job that actually will trigger the apply. Now that I've hammered home why you should use the dash out option with your Terraform applies and not do the interactive yes version of Terraform apply, let's go ahead and get rid of the demo instance we just created. And I'm going to show you another way to do this again with Terraform apply and not the Terraform destroy command that you probably learned in your Terraform uh, 101 class. So instead of running Terraform destroy, we can actually run Terraform plan. What? Destroy. Ah. And then um, it'll give us the same result. Again, I forgot the uh, I forgot the dash out option, but we'll just run the same thing again to TF plan. And this will create a Terraform plan to destroy rather than a Terraform plan to apply or create. Run that one more time. And just like before, we're gonna run the same command, terraform apply tf plan. This might seem weird at first, but our terraform plan file, our tf plan file, is actually an action to destroy. So when we apply the action to destroy, it's gonna destroy. Again, this is good if you wanna run any checks on your actions before you actually run a destroy, because I don't know, just running terraform destroy by itself also scares me a little bit. So we'll go ahead and uh, apply that. And just like that, our instance is deleted and that should stop charging me money for my cloud instances. All right, thank you so much for watching. And again, I would like to say thank you to everyone who has been asking me for a Terraform best practices video. I've been compiling a list of different things to go over. And instead of making one giant video, I think I will be releasing them into smaller little tips, uh, blog posts, and videos like this. So again, thank you for those content suggestions. I am generally available in the Discord and I see all the comments. So feel free to use either of those avenues to reach me. Uh, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.